right? Yeah, because you said don't, you, starving artists. You don't hurt yourself going for a dream. Lose when you go after a dream. Here it is. You don't. It always leads to something better. Always. All right. Starving artist. I slept on a futon until I was 36. I don't fucking regret any of it. I was dating this woman, and I said I had a spot I had to go do, and it, it paid $8 at the comic strip during the week. Tuesday night, I went down there, and I came back. I tried out a new bit, and I was doing a... And afterwards, I was at home in my apartment, and I was doing this silly dance in the kitchen because I had a new bit, and I was psyched because I had gone through this period where I wasn't coming up with any new material. And she was laughing, and then she got a sad look on her face, and I said, what's the matter? And she said, I wish I had a job where I only got paid $8, yet I came home and I did a silly dance in the kitchen. The responsible thing to do is to listen to your heart. It wasn't hard to work at the shitty job because I was always thinking about the exciting job I was going to do afterwards. And every night that I just went up on stage, and if it just went moderately okay, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't be I, I have to be honest with you, like, I, I, I couldn't fucking believe that I was actually doing it, that I was actually, I had a dream and I was making it happen. And I still remember the first time I really went on stage and I actually got in the zone for what was considered a zone at the level comic I was, and I only was in the zone for about eight seconds. Um, I was at Nick's Comedy Stop in Framingham on Route 9. It doesn't even exist anymore. And um, I just got on this roll of laughter that I was actually able to pause and fucking be in the moment and enjoy it rather than being like, oh my God, what's my next joke? What's my next joke? And um, that fucking feeling can carry you through a fucking shitty job for a week. Freddie Stone. Excitable boy. That's what he went by. I did a room for him and he gave me $5 gas money. I'd probably spent 10 to get there and I couldn't fucking believe it. And I was like, I did that and they gave me this. I couldn't fucking believe it. At what point, just listen to the sound of my voice as I'm talking about this. Have you ever had that level of excitement doing any other fucking job? That's what it's like when you're, you, you go after uh, a dream job. So... Nothing, nothing is worse than not going after it.